Hello there engineers and welcome to this video for Prompt Geek. You have probably seen these online right now. They are the hottest thing you can do with AI at the moment. That is turning boring QR codes into amazing AI art masterpieces. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in today's video. So please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because I will be putting out more like this. Let's get into it. First up, you're going to want to get yourself a URL to actually use for your QR code. And I'm going to use this one here for Stay With Fusion World Boy 5 Cheat Sheet, a great website for basically a breakdown of all the artists out there. You can use 1.5 Stay With Fusion's model to create art and style of. So let's grab the link and then we're going to go to this website here, the free QR code generator. The link, of course, is in the description down below. And what we need to do is we're going to need to make this QR code, but in order for it to be successful, we need to set it with a very high fault tolerance. It's going to need to have a white margin around the QR code and the basic square fill with a black and white pattern. So we're going to choose URL, going to paste that URL in, and then we go to the set QR code. 350 by 350 is a bit small. Let's go with 512 by 512. I'm going to set that to high fault tolerance. Make sure that the color is set to white for the background and black for the QR code color. And then hit generate and we have our QR code. We then want to download the QR code as a PNG file. So now we've done that, we are ready, of course, to decorate our QR code with our beautiful AI art. Right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into Stable Diffusion. You want to make sure you choose the model you want to use of Bond with Rev Animated on this one. We want to also make sure that we're actually not in text to image, but in image to image. So we're going to just pop in here, and I've already set these up. And we'll pop in prompts. So for this one, I've just gone with a very simple one. You need to make sure you put in your negative embeddings as well. So I've written in ugly, disfigured, low quality, blurry, NSFW, not safe for work. And then I put in Easy Negative V2, which is a textual embedding. And this is the interesting thing. I've learned do not use these negative embeddings because what actually happens is that they mess up the QR code. And it took me ages to figure out why it wasn't working. And it was only when I deleted the negative embedding I was using and just stuck to the ones I typed in myself that I realized that that was the issue. So just it to ugly, disfigured, low quality, blurry, NSFW, and you will get a decent result along with, of course, the right settings. So the next thing you want to do is you want to import your QR code. And that's this one here now. So with that loaded in, we need to go to resize made, make sure it's set to just resize, choose your sampling method, and then sampling steps, I'm going to put that up to 50 resize. We want this to be a bit bigger. We'll go 728 by 728. CFG scale can stay at 7. Denoise and strength, actually we want to increase that to about 0 0.85. We do need to keep the QR code intact. And then importantly, we need to go to control net. We need to import the same QR code here. We need to make sure we set it to enable. And then under control type, we choose tile. That will automatically select the tile resample preprocessor and the control tile model. On control weight, we can reduce that. And I find that 0 0.9 or 0 0.95 works great. We can then increase the starting control steps. This means that the image from the prompt will start to generate. And only after a couple of steps will it then start to bring in the QR code. So we're going to pop that up to about the 0.15. We can leave ending control step where it is, but if you want to, you can experiment with reducing that and that will make the image blend more with the QR code. You will have to experiment with these numbers because sometimes you will get good results. Other times you're gonna have to redo and retry and change it and tweak these to make sure the QR code is still readable. Control mode should be balanced. Resize mode, just resize. And then we're ready to generate. And after a minute or two, depending on how good your GPU is, you've got this QR code, which actually looks pretty cool. You can see there the girl with the fox ears in the kimono, and you could still see the pattern of the QR code. And of course, the real test of this is that you have to get your camera 
up on your phone. Now it might take actually a couple of tries to get one that actually will read on your phone. It is a very cool way to add decorations to your QR codes and make them look a lot more interesting than just some boring black and white squares. And of course, you can be very clever about it too if you use the right kind of prompt. Here are a couple more examples that I have created for you. Now, if you like these and you appreciate this video, please make sure you like it, then subscribe to the channel, and we'll be putting out more content like this, and I hope to speak to you again soon. See you later, prompt engineers.